it's really fun when we have you in because it seems like you will have already accomplished something in your career, a milestone or about to, yeah. and in this case you got both. So one milestone that you just achieved was getting your promoter's license at 19. You're 19 years old. Yes. Why did you do that? And it's in California. Well, um, you know, um, getting my promoter's license, you know, was something that, you know, me and my dad talked about from when I first turned professional. And uh, it was it was something that I've always wanted to accomplish. You know, it just came, you know, a, a lot earlier than I expected. And uh, California, um, I got in California because, you know, it was uh, a little bit easier to, to, to get it there. Um, they were a little bit more, you know, versatile, but, um, you know, pretty soon, now um, I'm, I'm gonna get it, um, have it all, all over. I would imagine Nevada is a little bit tougher. Yes, You've got more yes, definitely, definitely, red tape know, to go yeah, through. Yeah, you know, it's a lot uh, bigger casinos, you know, you know a, a lot bigger things here in Nevada, Las Vegas. So get your feet wet in California. Yes. Uh, and you said that it happened a lot sooner than you thought. Yeah. Why? You know, um, just me being 19 years old, I didn't think that I, w I, w I would get it this this fast, but uh, I'm, I'm definitely excited for it, you know, and. And it's, 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 it's opening a, a lot of doors for bigger things to come. When you were talking with your dad about this, why did you guys think that this was the right time? Well, because I always well, we always felt that, you know, um, the fighters are their own promoters anyway because, you know, we're, we're the one fighting, we're the one, you know, marketing ourselves as far as, you know, social media. And um, so we always felt like that. So um, I took the initiative to, to, to go get my license and, you know, go all the way with it. When we first interviewed you, you were being pursued by Jay-Z and Rock yeah. Nation as a promoter, yeah. Floyd Mayweather as a promoter. Now I'm thinking, okay, so Floyd Mayweather has his own promotions, Mayweather promotions, yeah. but then when you see him fight or when he was fighting, he would always think Al Heyman first. Yes. In your case, you're not really going to have to do that. No. No? no. <laughs> yes, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be promoting, you know, all my fights. And, uh, my, my next fight, September 28th, uh, on Showtime, you know, uh, I'm the lead promoter and uh, I'm promoting the whole show. So there is no Al Heyman, it's uh, only Devin Haney. Uh, and for people that don't know who Al Heyman is, he's the biggest promoter within boxing and almost well, everybody. He's, well, he's not necessarily a promoter. He's a, a, a manager slash, you know, advise, uh, advisor and he, he works with promoters. So. We don't really know who he is because he's not yeah. around very much. Yes, yes. yes <laughs> we know he's powerful, though. Yes, very. Uh, tell me about your opponent and why this is another stepping stone for you or, or necessary. Um, my opponent is Juan Carlos Burgos. He's, uh, he's fought for a road title th uh, three different times. His, his last uh, loss was to um, Mikey Garcia, you know. Uh, uh, wow. You know, Went 12 rounds with yes, him. Yes, he went. He went 12 rounds. He put up a great fight. Not only did he put up a great fight, he he won rounds, and he also hurt Mikey Garcia. So, you know, um, I look to go in there and show the world, you know, who Devin Haney is, and and you know how I'm different from you know the other people that he has faced. And he's 30, and that fight with Mikey Garcia was four years ago. So this yes. guy's seasoned, and that seems like who you've been facing often. What is that like being a younger man and going in there with guys who have been doing this for a long time? You know, that that's the thing to it. You know, they've been doing it for a long time. You know, uh, I, I say that they're kind of wore out or something, you know, because I'm young, I'm strong, I'm hungry, and um, I'm looking to run, run over them. Do they try to intimidate you, I would imagine? Um, I think I do more than intimidate. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I, I, I guess you could say. When you were talking about how long you've been planning this with your dad, I saw a picture on social media recently. You were being interviewed by a competitor, but they had the, the mic flag in the picture. But you were how old in that picture? I was about, I want to say about 10, 10 years old, yeah. With this dream in mind, and, and your nickname, The Dream, is the dream. for the American dream, right? Yes, yes. Will you explain to me what your version of the American dream is? You know, um, me and my dad, you know, we we came from Oakland, California, where it was it was tough, you know, c c coming up, it, was, it wasn't it was easy, you know, when we, we, we moved to Las Vegas to, you know, for, for a better life, you know, just to get away from all of that. And we, we came to Las Vegas, you know, I, I started my boxing career and look at me now, you know, I'm a 19 year old professional fighter with, a, you know, my, my own company. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's a dream come true. You can see Devin the Dream Haney in action against Juan Carlos Burgos on Showtime Friday, September 28th. And we'll be right back.